I just wanted to make a quick little video. Um, some of the resources I often like to use are uh, a lot older than I am. Um, I've got several different books. This is just one I thought I'd show you for the fun of it. You might have seen it. Uh, it was very popular in its day, but it was a collection of outdoor life and uh, from Outdoor Life magazines. And uh, my grandfather gave it to me. I spent hours going through it and it's just got some neat stories in it. But this is one book that's been a great reference. It's the New Hunter's Encyclopedia from 1969. And it has some great resources. Um, it starts off, it goes through all kinds of different animals. We're looking at antelope. It gives you the geographical maps. And it's very detailed. goes down to weasels, porcupines, into the birds, and it goes through your firearms, and the old weapons they had new that year. It goes right into your scopes and optical aids, then into your hunting dogs, into your archery, boats, and different blinds. Uh, there's a, even a plan for a flat bottom boat in here. Uh, camp bedding, compass and maps, falconry, um, a section on knives, national forests, uh, federal laws and treaties. And you can go right up through. My part, the part I always liked in, is it also has uh, recipes in it. And I would have to just look here. It's the best thing about an old book. i got to get this thing recovered, but it's got an index, which is really nice. Because especially when you're dealing with a book that's over a thousand pages long, you don't really want to have to flip through every page looking, of course. Uh, there we go. There's some survival lean to it. Covers a wide range of things. So here we go. Okay, I found what I'm after here the camp cookery section. This is unreal. Um, nice little gem to have. It goes through the uh, full utensils and everything you could have. But my favorite part is recipes. It's got uh, venison recipes, many of them. Um, waterfowl, um, and for different types of waterfowl even, and what how to cook them. Um, game burger, pit poultry, or pit cookery. Uh, it's got how to cook several different rabbit recipes. Uh, it's got soups. It's got a recipe for macaroni and cheese. Camp breads, including cornbread, bannock, pancake bread, camp biscuits. Uh, it's got how to make barbecue s sauce, holiday sauce. Um, horseradish sauce, orange sauce, yeah, it's it's got just about everything. It's got stuffings. Um, I would really, if you can ever find an old book like this, they're uh, just a wealth of information. And it's in the older ways or the better ways. This one's not even that old. But uh, it's got some really good information in it. Uh, here's another example. Your own book of camp craft. Um, this one isn't that old. Let's see. Well, it was first published in 1950, so reprinted in 73, so the original was old. But uh, it's got blanket folding and it's got knots. Um, it's got recipes. And so it's a smaller example of a book that can be really incredibly helpful uh, starting fires um, using compass reading the stars a real good little book if you can ever find that one in a used store uh, I've got the trail rangers manual which has been around for a few years but it's got everything from Morse code uh, signaling you know it's again it's a very 
in-depth book, a lot of it based on native uh, knowledge, which is something that we'd be good to listen to. Um, How to Hunt American Game. This book is it's pretty good, but it's a little lacking in pictures for my liking, but it does have a lot of really good information in it. So, um, another one that has always been a favorite of mine, I've had this since I was a kid, the Do-It-Yourself Popular Mechanics Encyclopedia. I had two of them, I don't know what happened to the other. As years went on, I've lost it, I guess. Um, but this book covers so much information, it's unreal. Uh, let me see if I can find the date here. 1955. Uh, it's how to make a bracket for your ch kitchen hand grinder. How to make kitchen shelves. It's got gardening and landscaping design. Um, how to make your own tools. How to make a... Uh, all kinds of gardening, chair designs, how to make your own lawn chairs, and how to make your own tubing bender so that you can do that. And it builds on leather embossing, uh, leather braiding, how to make signs, how to make your own lighting, how to redo your bathrooms, linoleum and floor tile, um, how to catch your own live bait, how to build bait boxes, tables, uh, what are we on here, this, well this is how to make your own uh, hand loom for uh, making your own yarn and, and cloth, uh, making a fireplace and a chimney, building a cabin, uh, making rope, magazine baskets, uh, using measuring tools like micrometers. It's amazing. The art of metal hammering. It just covers a little bit of everything. These old books really hold a lot of the old knowledge that we've been losing and uh, I think we could learn a huge amount by getting more. This is volume 6. I used to have volume 5 too and it had more information. They were my favorite readers when I was a kid which is maybe why it's a little weird to do the things I do but this is another one I found. Um, it's, it was 35 cents in 1912. It's worth about two or three dollars now but it's an elementary school fourth grade reader and it is no wonder that they uh, we are a dumber generation um, when you go through this it's quite a lot more in depth than any of ours um, nowadays comparatively we hardly do anything I mean we hardly talk about oral com oral composition and things like this it's incredible they go right into it. by the end they have them filling out checks and doing uh, basic um, financial planning in a fourth grade reader now this was written by not just any teacher but by W.J. Alexander, Ph.D., the professor of English at the University College of Toronto. So, yeah, I think if we were using this kind of technology, we'd be, or uh, this kind of writing to teach our kids nowadays, we'd be a little better off.